Good morning and welcome again to my little study on this Wednesday morning. A very autumnal Wednesday morning with mists. Um, first one I think we've had really. It's lovely to be with you anyway. I've been thinking about what I missed when we came back to church after lockdown, when the church had been closed. And the two things I think I really missed were the singing and the getting together after the service. Missed the services, obviously, but those were the two things that really hit me. And it was lovely, about three weeks ago now, to see the whole of the choir back with us. Up till then we'd have about six of um, the choir singing, doing really well. But it was lovely to see all of the choir back and to enjoy the wonderful music they made. And then there's the time after church. We had been for a little while having some drinks to have outside, but I don't know, somehow being outside wasn't quite the same. People went in different directions. So again, it was lovely um, to be able to have coffee and tea and biscuits um, at the back of church because that's where you meet people, you talk to people, you just catch up, you just find what's happening and what's going on and how people are and even news about people who can't be there. And I really, really miss that. Because part of being a church and being a family of God is being together like all our families. We've all missed our families over the last 18 months. Many of us have been able to get together with Zoom and we were able to get together at church outside. But this getting together, this this social interaction between people is so important. It's also, of course, where we find people who can help us with all the jobs that need doing. And believe me, there are a lot of jobs that need doing, including the coffee and tea. So if you can help with coffee and tea, please let Sarah Speed or one of the ladies know, because we need the coffee and tea and the biscuits, of course. But it was the singing, I think, that most hit me. If you'd have asked me before COVID, I think I would have said, well, singing's okay, but I can live without it. But when we couldn't sing, there was just something missing in my worship. Something missing in the way that I could be together with God. Yes, it was about joining together with other people, being able to pray, praise, being able to thank God, being able to sing wonderful, wonderful music and song but there was more than that and I was really really surprised how much I missed it and even when the choir came back and could sing on their own and John Wills being our wonderful organist could play it still wasn't the same it was only when we could sing again that really that joy that comes with singing of hymns came back to me we are still having to wear masks to sing because that protects other people. It's still one of the things that's frustrating about this uh, epidemic, this pandemic. But um, we can sing now and we can stand up and we can sing, although not in communion because it's so complicated. But for me, bringing back that music, that singing, has just made all the difference in the world. I hope it has for you too. And I hope the gradual unlocking of our services is helping as well. We are being careful. We think we need to be careful, but we are now getting back to something more like what we're used to. And that will, of course, come, I hope, in the not too distant future. So when you come to church, when you sing in church, when you have your coffee and meet people after church, welcome back to our family and the family of God. So let's end with a prayer. Lord, we thank you that we can be together once again, that we can join together in singing your praises, thanking you, and just sharing together the wonderful world that you've created for us as your people, as your family. Amen.
Thank you.